garage, I heard. This is the garage. I heard that's bad for business. Yeah, that's the garage. Here we go. Oh, dead bodies. Okay. What a stink. Somebody's been using this med bay for a morgue. Gonna take an ocean bleach to get it ready for customers. Nice. He's alive? This, oh no. It's a husk of a man is little more than a skeleton covered in papery skin. Starts the cause of death. Looks like a simple case of starvation and dehydration, but the corpse's ankles and wrists show some scarring as if he was chained up for a while. Slip note. You found this note under a body in Ranger HQ. It is heavily uh, creased and stained with the blood of his previous owner. Lore book. Nice. There's a pile of corpses in this corner. Cliff, what can you tell me? These people died in a variety of ways. Most of them violent bullet holes in one, a crushed skull in the other, a cut throat in the other. They all have the same scarring of the ankles and wrists on the other corpses, most likely from manacles. The torn skin suggests that they were frequently moved. Somebody was slaving it up over here. What can you tell me, Clip? Looks like exposure to extreme cold took this person's missing extremities. Scarring in in said, uh, indicates that this may have happened multiple times over several years. But it wasn't the cold that killed him. When wounds across his back indicate that he was whipped to death. He also noticed the same scarring on his ankles and wrists as on the other corpses. I'm starting to get the gist of what's happening here. This was the smiling ladies doing. Lock failure, lock picking impossible. Fair enough. I'll deal with that later then. Ooh, I heard this place is bad. Let's go. Oh, I see you. I Look see at you. all this machinery. Stop. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot for your armory. Yeah, it would be. Got it. There we go. That's one, but there's another one over there. Do not run in front of me, I swear to you. I'll go alone. Okay. Workbenches, got it. information about the basic systems. All systems normal right now. Check recent activities for this terminal. The only log you can find on this terminal relates to a massive data wipe from several decades ago. The terminal is displaying information about the basic systems. All seem normal right now. Step away. Justin do it. And I'll take care of that right the level four. Okay, well we will come back later.
Thank you for your cooperation. Okay. Big robot, right? Yeah, that's a big robot. Can we take care of big said robot? We can do it. get this cleaned out, you can put your truck in here. Hmm. Repair kit. Use the restore f plus 50% of your um, constitution. Amount repaired increases the mechanics skill level. Explain any information about the base systems. All seem normal right now. Recall service elevator platform. A loud grinding emanates from a huge trapdoor near the garage's entrance. The smell of rusted metal sparks fills the room. Mechanical failure reported a servidor drone has been issued a repair order. Examine most recent activities. Nothing to do. That robot is bad news. That robot is bad news. I cannot aim at said robot. Why? I can talk to the rusted slicer dicer. Let's talk to said rusted slicer dicer. What up? That robot is in bad shape. It twitches in a puddle of its own fluids. Its case is dented and riddled with bullet holes. Judging by the scrap marks on the floor, it looks like someone dragged it into the garage from somewhere else. Ah. Examine the robot. Recognize it is a slicer dicer, a pre apocalypse military robot. It appears to have been badly damaged in a firefight and is missing some of its weapons. Upon closer inspections, you note that some of the bullet holes have been patched and several of the legs shown sign of recent welding. Slicer Dicer's main access panel is open, revealing its wiring and power plant. It's clear that someone has been trying to repair the robot. Leave the robot alone for right now. We will get to that if we can. That's gonna be my robot. That's gonna be my robot. It's gonna be my baby. Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. Uh, uh, cool. So, way to walk out. It is. Is that a doggo? Doggo, come back. Dog. Oh, chicken. <sighs> yes. Just found a digging site right here. What did you? What you find, boy? Pet the dogs in Wasteland 3. They pointed at this area. Why? Hmm. I don't know why 
why they pointed at this area. Oh, loot. Nice. Industrial saw blades de designed to cut lightweight metals. Ah! Do we need that for a certain robot that we just saw? Check it. Cyber... Cyborg chicken? Okay, this is some robot, robot chicken shit. Metal plated electronics have been implanted in this chicken's body. It looks up at you, a sense of loneliness in its eyes. You don't see any other chickens around. chicken right now. What, what was that? Talk to who? Snow drip is just the right balance of density to witness the pack snowballs. On snow pile. Okay. You zip and the yellow tingy snow could make for some serious growing. Gather yellow snowballs. Unbelievable. What have I done? I need to rest a spell. Catch my breath. That all right with later. find some gold nuggets in this game. Okay. We have... We need to go to two areas in this area. First, let's go downstairs and check out that elevator. See what happens. Still a complete fail. Uh, mechanics needs to go up. Can't do that at this time. Chassis, a lightweight aluminum chassis does a little banged up, it's still reusable. Tired of gridlock? Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Consolidated Atomics has the answer. Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up-to-the-minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit your local dealership for information on a Hermes upgrade kit today. Consolidated Atomics, 21st century solutions for the problems of today. <laughs> okay. Gonzalez seems at home behind this radio equipment. He salutes Chris. Welcome to your approach. communications hub, Rangers. The Patriarch was good enough to let me use my own gear. 
and I have my high frequency radio equipment all set up. From Good. here on out, I will be your voice in the wind. You can contact Ranger HQ at any time through your radio, and I'll reach out as needed. When there's arrest to be made under your authority, just radio them into me. Pleasure to serve. What do you think about the Patreon? I've worked the radio for some time now, and I hear all kinds of stories from other parts of the world. Horrors you wouldn't believe. Is Colorado perfect? No. It's a damn sight better than any alternative I've seen. Okay. How do you feel about being part of the Rangers? Speaking frankly, great. Protect and serve, right? Things had grown stale with the Marshals. I felt like I'd reached the end of what I could do for the people there. It's uncertain. Proud first. to be a Ranger now. Okay. You installed our current AI. Are you oh, an expert? I'm not. It just turns out artificial intelligence isn't that much different from fiddling with radios. Easy enough to install, it turned out, but I wouldn't know the first thing about it otherwise. Okay. Tell us about your radio. The finest equipment. setup you'll find this side of the Rockies. This equipment took years to get together. A lot of it custom work. String and pieces of gum, you know? This is the only setup in Colorado able to communicate on all sorts of frequency bands, up to the HF band. That means we can reach you pretty much no matter where you are in Colorado. The basic controls are straightforward. You should try the device yourselves whenever you're here. I've picked up all kinds of signals. It's possible you could even reach Arizona. Mm. Anytime. All right. I cannot. Yep, yep, yep. Shut up. Silence! Examine the security systems. Read the old security logs. Yeah, step away from the terminal. All right, we've done all we could do in this area. We've done everything. Now it is time to get to actual work. Now. Okay. Recruit personal. Personnel for Ranger HQ, a brig jailer, med bay doctor, an armory, quartermaster, and garage mechanics. Okay. Head to the Colorado Marshals, who can be found in downtown Colorado Springs. He thinks she might be able to help us find some recruits. Okay, we need to go find Daisy. Let's check out this AI car real quick. Take the footpath to downtown Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs is a rare, fully functioning society in post-apocalyptic America, but many harsh sacrifices have been made in order to maintain it. Why is everything so frozen? Here we are 
what is up with the dead bodies? I just got here. I literally just got here. Please! My son's not a door! My son's done Death nothing to wrong! Humanity. Death to the hundred stinking families! You don't look like marshals. Do you work for the Patriarch? Where are the rangers? We work for anyone who needs and our my help. My boy needs your help. He's going to be executed. And they won't listen when I say he's no killer. Judge Watkins has sentenced my son to die. Austin is all I have left. Everyone else died on the plains. Judge He's Watkins. a good boy. He never hurt anyone. I'm sure of it. Please, maybe Watkins will listen to you. Who is your son? Austin Pease, the skinny boy up on the platform. I can't imagine he killed anyone. We've seen enough death on our way out here. He never wanted to hurt anyone. Ever. Yeah, you keep saying that, but... What's your story? Our family escaped the wars in the East. Tried to make our way across the plains. My husband, father's son, my daughters, one by one, picked off and killed. Now it's just the two of us, and I'm going to lose him, too. What happened? Why was your son, son sentenced to death? I don't even know why he was rounded up. He won't tell me. Says he's embarrassed. I know they caught him doing something wrong, but he says he never hurt anyone. If you talk to him, maybe he'll tell you what happened. Sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than your mother. I know that much. Well, that's true. Please, help my son! Bastards! 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 Of course they live! He'll kill you all! I hope you die slow! Damn. Alright. Dorsey, prisoner. I I I'll find him in a second. The deluge of blood is coming for you all! Deluge of blood. Death to Buchanan! Death to the hundred stinking fam- Alright, Austin. Tell me what's going on. Gaunt and pale, his hair is tossly and greasy. His face ang angular with hunger. He stares at the pillories with dread, swallowing occasionally. He sees you staring at him and snaps Sorry, back to reality. Sorry, I didn't... I, I didn't mean to ignore you. Just got a lot, uh, a lot on my mind. Uh, yeah, probably. How did you get in trouble with the Made Marshals? a real big mistake. See, the Plains gangs chased my mom and me off our land. We lost everything. Heard this was a place of God-fearing people and thought they'd do right by us. <laughs> People here kept us out in the cold, letting us starve to death while they sat inside, warm and fed. Then the Dorseys came and gave me some food and some kindness and asked me to do some vandalism. Uh huh. I figured what was the harm. I never killed no one, but I did bust some windows. Marshals caught me doing it, and they said I was working with the Dorseys. Magistrate agreed, so here I am. Mom would have talked me out of it. Should have talked to her first. Why did you do it? We were starving. No two ways about it. We were going to die. Dorsey's gave us food. I figured a few windows was a worthwhile trade for the bread and meat that saved our lives. Yeah, it doesn't sound like the punishment punishment fits the crime. I thought it was too harsh, but what happens if I speak up now? Will they come after my mom? I can't take the chance. Okay, as for his mom, good. What's your the sentence? Straight tells me it's death. They're gonna strip me down and tie me to those things. Then they're gonna let the cold do its work. I wonder if it'll hurt. 
Wish I could tell you it won't, kid. But that'd be a lie. Got a daring no. exploit plan? I was never known desperado. Don't rightly know why I let myself get caught up in this. But if I'm to die, I'd at least like to do that right. I'm gonna do that like a man. Alright. Let's say you can go for, uh, you can, uh, fr I can free you. What's the worth to you? Magistrate's a hard man. I wish I could believe it'd work. I'd do anything for someone who could get me free without hurting anybody in the process. Guess I don't have any money to give you, but I I'd pay you back in hard work, if you'll have me. Do you have any useful I'm skills? I'm used to hard work around the homestead, and I ain't too bad with a gun either. My folks made sure I could hunt and fight. I always dreamed of coming to the big city and being a newspaper man. You know, interviewing people, telling the truth about how things really are. Sure didn't turn out like I hoped. Let's go talk to this Watkins nice talking guy. To you. Oh, nice talking to you. <laughs> We'll have our revenge. You ain't seen the last of us. Stop talking. You're getting this poor boy in trouble. We ain't gonna beg for our lives. We ain't. All right. So let's walk in. The dour man looks out at the pillories with an expression of grim satisfaction. His sallow skin pulls tight over his face. And his uh, thin lips pressed together. And Howdy, hard Judge. How's your heart? Still colder than a well digger's ass? Marshal Kwan. Impertinent as ever, I see. Rangers, I am Magistrate Silas Watkins. I have heard of your arrival. Partly from the confessions of the Dorsey Raiders, you'll be pleased to know that I sentenced them to death for their part in the attack on the city. And your convoy. You're enjoying this way too much. What's with the pillories? They are the only instrument of justice we need. Serious offenders die by exposure. Sometimes I might grant a reprieve after frostbiters claim their extremities. Oh, that's great. You have no other punishments For here. some offenses, we have a work camp on the plains. I don't approve of their methods, but it's outside my jurisdiction. Minor infractions like public drunkenness or disorderly conduct are punished by a short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Short stay in the sheriff's lockup. Well... Wouldn't that boy be over there in the sheriff's lockup? Talking Proceed. about something else. Austin's uh, piece says he didn't kill anyone. What will it take to free His him? His crimes are still severe. He was part of the Dorsey uprising. He caused significant property damage. His actions diverted marshals from responding to reports of attacks, magnifying the harm the Dorseys were able to inflict. Argue a case, and I might show lenience. Oh, kiss ass is like at three, not at four. Oh, he, they might actually do that. Don't don't say this one. He's too young for death. Surely you can offer him mercy. They don't care about that. What if the ranchers were able to pay for the damages? You wish to compensate the city and the owners of the damaged properties for their losses. I can facilitate that. <sighs> Americans, they can always go down to money. That's the price in Colorado dollars. Oh, that's it? Uh, here you go. Takes the money, writes a receipt for you. Ooh. Did they do? Did they, that lady do a discount for the bribery right there? This is irregular, but it is within my powers 
to grant you full custody of Austin Peace. Any further infractions he may commit are the Ranger's responsibility. I would recommend keeping him out of trouble. Fair enough, strange man with a strange wand. You should inform the boy. Best he hears the good news from you. Fair enough. Oh, oh. Death to Buchanan! Got it. Death to the hundred stinking families! Got it. Still here. Not looking forward to what comes next. Uh, yeah, probably not. Hey, listen. You're free. We talked to the magistrate. He said it'll release you, but you'll work for us what? now. What? Are you serious? Y you really saved my life and... And I get to be a ranger? Soon as they let me free, I'm going straight to your headquarters. I'll do whatever you need me to do. Clean guns, scrub toilets, you name it. Thank oh, you. You're... Say thank you. Thank you. Death to Buchanan! Okay, all right. Death all right. to the hundred stinking families! Got it. got it, got it. How can you be dead? Got it. Death to Buchanan! Okay, got it. You Death rangers are heroes. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did for my son. Thank you. Thank you. Fair enough, lady. Fair enough. Oh my gosh, those, that lady's going at it. Wastelander refugees. I might up that a lot. Uh, Patriarch Marshals. Uh, you ain't seen that. the last of us! Oh my gosh, this lady is going at it. 